heart health at home in five daily checks and one yearly test which your cardiologist is unlikely to suggest. Let's start from three important things. If you feel heart pain or sudden dizziness or shortness of breath, you really need to call your doctor or emergency. The other important thing is uh, I'm not a medical doctor. However, I have a history of uh, heart disease and uh, therefore I looked very deeply into this topic and applied the suggestions uh, which we're going to talk about myself. And item number three, checking your heart health at home on a daily basis uh, should not replace your regular visits to a doctor, specifically to your cardiologist if you have any heart concerns. So the protocol which we're going to talk about with these five daily checks should be done on a daily basis as a complementary tool to you visiting your doctor on a regular basis and when you accumulate all this information which we're going to talk about, it will help your doctor to make a correct diagnosis. The first daily check which I recommend is heart rate. Your resting heart rate should be usually below 100 beats per minute because if it's more than 100 beats per minute, then you may have a condition which is called tachycardia and then you definitely need to discuss it with your doctor. Measure your resting heart regularly and uh, keep the records. The other daily check we should do is uh, blood pressure. In fact, uh, big authorities on this topic like Dr. P Peter Atia suggest to take uh, blood pressure readings twice per day in the morning and uh, just before you go to bed. Hypertension is an illness which affects 1.3 billion people globally and uh, it's one of the key reasons why people have heart attacks or strokes. You cannot really feel it in most of the cases. So you have to have a blood pressure monitor to do it and blood pressure monitor comes in different shapes and forms. For example, you can have uh, an automatic uh, cuff which you put uh, on your upper arm and so those are the most uh, reliable. The other type of uh, device which will help you to measure blood pressure is a smartwatch. So for example uh, this model uh, comes with inflatable uh, strap um, and so this is uh, good because it's less distracting than a uh, cuff which you put on your upper arm. And, um, uh, and then there are some other devices which are very small and uh, those uh, don't have any mechanical parts so uh, they have on only optoelectronic sensors and they uh, take uh, blood pressure throughout the day. One of the questions which I hear a lot is whether there are mobile applications which can take blood pressure readings. And the answer is as of January 2024 there are no mobile apps which take blood pressure. The technology simply does not exist. And uh, you cannot measure blood pressure with Apple Watch yet. You really need to have an external blood pressure monitor to take a reading. Check out this uh, table from the American Heart Association which explains which blood pressure values are considered to be normal. The third daily check which we suggest is heart rate variability or HRV. Our heart beats, uh, when we look at ECG, they seem that they come at an even uh, space. But uh, however, in reality, there is small uh, variability between uh, the spikes of uh, heart beats. They are measured in very small amounts, in milliseconds, that we as humans cannot feel this variation. However, proper working heart would create these uh, small variations. The larger these variations or the higher HRV or heart rate variability, the better our cardiovascular system is uh, functioning. However, you need to have uh, different devices uh, to measure heart rate variability. You can measure your heart rate variability with your uh, phone. Uh, it's done with your phone's camera. There are plenty of applications which uh, do it for free. Uh, Apple Watch measures uh, heart rate variability. You can get your daily trends and so that would uh, show you how your daily stress fluctuates. And there are all sorts of things which contribute to HRV. For example, the quality of your sleep, your exercise, uh, the amount of alcohol which you consume. For example, if your 
uh, daily HRV measurements, which should be done first thing in the morning, if they are trending up, that means that you are doing generally okay because your HRV improves, your overall body stress goes down, which means that you can, for example, exercise more. However, if your HRV is uh, trending down, then uh, it means that probably you experience a lot of life stress or you exercise too much and you need to give yourself some rest. If your HRV trend is kind of flat, that means that your uh, life is under control, your overall life stress is okay, and uh, so that's a good condition. And then the other protocol for HRV is uh, to figure out how a particular activity impacts your stress. For example, if you feel stressed, you may do a meditation or you may do slow breathing exercise. But, and you would like to judge objectively how this exercise worked for you? In that case, uh, the proper way to do it is to measure your HRV just before this exercise and right after the exercise. And if your HRV has improved, that objectively shows you that your calming activity actually worked for you. And some apps like Breath Now will do this analysis for you. And they will show you your daily trends and they will show you how your HRV changes immediately after a particular activity. Now, the two other checks require actually a smartwatch like uh, Apple Watch or they uh, require an, a specialized app. The daily check number four is uh, called uh, AFib or atrial fibrillation check. And the atrial fibrillation is a condition where your uh, where your heart rate fluctuates. However, unlike the fluctuations um, of heart rate measured by HRV, remember we talked about milliseconds here. So when you have a tachycardia, those fluctuations actually are, are easier to detect. All of a sudden you feel like your heart rate accelerates. And uh, if it happens once or twice, uh, for example, if you get excited, that's okay. But if this stuff happens all the time, then uh, it may mean that you have some uh, kind of a tachycardia. Apple Watch will easily detect this kind of stuff and indicate it to you. And that's a really good reason for you to go and have a discussion with your doctor. Health check number five is uh, blood oxygen saturation. The normal value of blood oxygen is around 95%. Uh, the proliferation of COVID, many more people got affected. Not a bad idea to check your blood oxygen saturation once per day. And again, so you can uh, use Apple Watch to do it, or you can use a pulse oximeter device. As a bonus, here's one more test, which I think uh, everyone should do at least once per year. And let's uh, listen to um, an expert, Peter Atia, in uh, this case, who explains what is VO2 max? Highly predictive metric of how long you're going to live. There is no metric that is more highly correlated with the length of a person's life than their VO2 max. It is testing your maximal consumption of oxygen. The higher that number is, the more oxygen your muscles can utilize, the more fit you are, the healthier you are. Gold standard for VO2 max, uh, put in a treadmill or exercise bike. The challenge with this test is A, it costs money, it requires specialized equipment, and uh, also it forces you to go to the upper level of your physical capacity. So this test is clearly not for everyone. You can also estimate your VO2 max with uh, some smartwatches. Apple Watch can do it for you and some other devices. Now the challenge there is that you really actually also have to exercise at a pretty high level to get reliable numbers. And then there is a third option which we implemented in our app Breath Now, together with the scientists from the University of Cambridge, where we um, ask people to do a five-minute step test, which can be done at home. This test does not require huge uh, physical effort, but it uses smart technology and we can calculate your VO to max for you. And uh, so this table shows the ranges uh, of VO to max values for um, men and uh, women for different ages. You can find your number in this table and then you know whether your VO2max is at an adequate level. Thanks very much for your attention. Have a great day.